Hey guys, today I'm filming the 7 Deadly Sins of Beauty tag that's been going around YouTube. I think this sounds like so much fun. I love doing tags, but this one especially sounded like a blast. Um, the, so I'll just get started. The first sin is greed, and the question is, what is your most expensive and inexpensive um, beauty items? My most inexpensive is e.l.f. I actually have a whole bunch of e.l.f. stuff. Um, my Some of my favorite everyday eye brushes are the e.l.f. $1 um, eye shader brush and the $1 blending eye brush. I use those both every day. Like I'm in love with them. And I actually have a lot of other things. I have a long wear lip liner and natural blush. I have a quad and drama, which actually swatches really nice. You'd be surprised. I, mean, I was really surprised by this, but... I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is really nice. And also, um, something that I found out from Emily Noel 83 is that the e.l.f. $1 lipstick in Classy is a dupe for Max Angel. So if you can find a $1 dupe for a $14.50 lipstick, then um, yeah, you really can't go wrong with this. I'll swatch it really quick. like that and this is really pretty and I like the formula for these lipsticks as well then my most expensive makeup item would be the naked palette I got this for Christmas so I didn't buy it myself but it was even like I almost didn't even ask for it because I it was $50 or 48 bucks I just couldn't believe spending that much money on a product but here it is and I like it but I don't use as much as I should my favorite colors are sin and hustle but um, that's my most expensive now um, the second sin is wrath, and the question is, what beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? Um, I actually have two. Oh, I actually have two, and um, the first is lipstick. I'm wearing one today. I'm wearing Mac Cut a Caper. Um, my lips have got like these white puffs on the side, which make wearing lipstick look like when I put. I have such a hard time with it and it looks messy and stuff. I need to go to a macros for it and ask them what I should do about it, but I don't have either one of those stores near me. But um, yeah, this is just MAC Plain Koi. A beautiful, beautiful lipstick, but it, you know, it's a satin, which kind of like, I'm obsessed with chapstick, but since I wear chapstick so much, my lips, my lips get even more chapped because I'm so reliant on it. And this is a Wet n Wild Mega Last in 901B. Like some really pretty lipsticks, but I just, um, I, I have so many, but I just can't wear because they look stupid on me. But there's those. And sometimes I just think that they're so pretty and I have to have them. And then I change my mind and it looks like I don't wear it anymore. And then my next thing is black pencil liner. Um, in general, waterline eyeliner. It never stays on for me. Never, ever, ever. I have tried gel liner and same with eyeshadow. I do pencil liner, so with eyeshadow. It never stays. So I'm not wearing any today. I have a little bit of brown on my lower lash line, but I have tried um, Maybelline Unstoppable Revlon Color Stay. The new Maybelline Master Drama, which has been said to be like, oh my gosh, it doesn't go anywhere. You know your waterline. I don't know what's wrong with my face. I've even tried the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes and the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils, and they run like no other. So I'm glad I didn't buy them and I got them with other things. But I just, the one that I have found that works the best is the Maybelline Master Drama pencil, but still, it is just, pisses me off sometimes. I get so frustrated with it because it looks so good, but it never stays. And I hate looking like a raccoon at the end of the day, which I always will. And then the next question was, what product has been the hard to get? And for me, that was the MAC Divulium Gaga lipstick. Um, I got this the second time around, and um, I actually my boyfriend got it for me, and he got it in the set with the View Glam 2, which MAC View Glam 2, which I don't really like that much. But the original one, this took forever to get, but I'm so excited about it. And something that I've been looking for but I haven't been able to find are the NYX Blushable Cream Sticks, or NYC, I mean, uh, NYX, and I have been having the worst time trying to find those. I still haven't found any. That's the Viva Glam Gaga Lipstick, and I've had the hardest time finding it, but it's such a beautiful shade. The third question is gluttony, and the question, or the third sin is gluttony, and what is, the question is, what are your most delicious beauty products? The first would be my Lush Mint Julep Lip Scrub. Um, this, actually I like it a lot. I love the packaging. I love things in jars. Like, 
I know people don't like to put their fingers in pots and stuff. I don't mind. I love things that dry something. It's so cool. And at first I wasn't sure if I'd like this because I don't like mint chocolate chip ice cream or anything like that. But uh, it doesn't bother me in this. I actually really like it. That surprised me. And my other favorite or most delicious beauty item would be my um, lip stains in general. My Revlon Just Bitten and my CoverGirl Outlast. This is CoverGirl Outlast. Have a raspberry scent and I am in love with it. I love raspberry scents. So, oh, so much of that. And this is like, I love lip stains in the summer. And that is right there. Um, sloth, what beauty product do you regret due to laziness? Um, and for me, that would be finishing powder and spray. I have it, and sometimes I'll, I usually just forget or I don't feel like I need to do it because other than that, I do everything. Like, I, I, I go out all out with my makeup. I don't really half butt it ever, but this sometimes I forget, and I use the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, which is a, so it's said to be a dupe for um, Makeup Forever HD. I use that, and then my e.l.f. Makeup Mist Inset, which just smells funny, but I actually have gotten over it and it doesn't really bother me anymore. But these two products are like finishing and um, sometimes I just forget to use them. Or I Pride, what beauty product gives you the most confidence? Um, for me, I always have like struggled with acne, but not like really bad, I'm very lucky. But still, I, I, like, I can go to class, you know, with my foundation concealer powder on and I'll feel fine. But if I don't have anything on, I just feel like disgusting. But I really always have to wear foundation. And this is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation for oily combination skin in the shade 150 buff. And is liquid liner. I always do like a wing. I don't know if you can see this, but I always do a wing. And I love liquid liner. My favorite is the Maybelline Lime Stiletto Liquid Liner. So the next sin is lust, and the question is, what attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? And people have been going crazy about this question, like that doesn't have anything to do with makeup. Well, I like that it doesn't have anything to do with makeup. I think it's really interesting to know about other people what they find attractive. And you know, I'm not going to go with the whole sense of humor characteristics because obviously this is like what you lust for. So this is I, I picture this as physical attractiveness that, um, and I would pick hands and lips like at, and I like teeth too I think because I wish my teeth were nice they're like I look at everybody's teeth but teeth aren't a big deal to me but lips and hands like um I love big lips I do like not like gigantic you know but I love love big lips I love them like I'm, I'm crazy about them like the boyfriend has huge lips and I love it I, I don't know. I just am crazy at lips and hands. Um, I I always look at guys' fingernails. Like if people have their fingernails down to a nub, I can't handle it. I can, I couldn't. I can't handle it. I don't even want to. You know, touching somebody's hand that's nub. So hands are actually really big deal to me. I know that's a weird thing to pick is hands, but that's something that I always look at are people's hands and their lips and their teeth too. But. Um, teeth aren't the biggest deal to me. I always look at them, but they're not like a big deal. Um, the last sin is envy. And what items would you most likely to receive as a gift? Everybody has said perfume and I get why, but um, I would like to receive an eyeshadow palette like I did, like I got the Naked palette for Christmas. I'm crazy about eyeshadows. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this wasn't too long. And um, please leave a comment below or video response of your answers to these questions and thank you guys so much for watching be sure to check out beautyvips.tumble.com bye guys